Hello everyone. Welcome to Visual Application Programming Lecture Series. Lecture 2, Part 1, C Sharp Basic Data Types. In this lecture, we will be discussing about the basic data types in C Sharp and how we can use them in programming. We will start with the question, what is a data type? In computer science and computer programming, a data type is a classification of data which tells the compiler or interpreter how the programmer intends to use the data or how to interpret its value. To understand this sentence clearly, let's consider an example. Let's assume you need to store a data in the computer. So the computer has to reserve some memory space to store the data. The computer can do this efficiently if you tell the computer which kind of data that you are going to store. If it is an integer number, maybe between 1 and 100, then you need only a little space in the memory to store that number. But if it is a huge decimal number with many decimal points, then you may need comparatively large memory space. Similarly, to store one character, you need only very little space. But to store a sentence, you may need comparatively a large memory space. So, if you tell the compiler or the interpreter about the type of the data that you are going to store, it can allocate the memory space suitable to your data type. Also, the data type is important to interpret the value of the data. As you know, data is stored in binary format in the computer, just a bunch of ones and zeros. So, how do you know the meaning of that bunch of ones and zeros? Data type will help you to figure this out. As an example, if the data type says that it is an integer, then you know those bits represent an integer number. But if the data type says that it's a rational number, then you should identify its integral and decimal parts to read the number correctly. Since C sharp is a strongly typed language, you should declare the type of the data which indicates the kind of values you are going to store. There are many data types available in c -sharp language. In this lecture, we will be looking at the basic data types only. We can use these data types to build values which are used in the application. Data types can be characterized by the type name, size, and the default value. Let's see few examples. One of the most popular data types used in programming languages is the type integer. And it can be used to work with integer numbers. If you are working with integer numbers between minus 2.14 billion to plus 2.14 billion, then you can use the integer type to store the values. This range limitation comes from the number of bits which used to store the value. In the case of integer type in C sharp, 32 bits are used to store an integer value. Once for all 32 bits denote the minimum value in the range and a zero followed by 31 ones denote the maximum value in the range. In C sharp, integer type is denoted by the keyword int. This example statement shows how to use the int data type in the program. Here int keyword is the data type. Then you need to give the name of the variable and then you can assign an integer value to the variable. Then the compiler knows that a variable called num holds an integer value and in this case, the assigned value is 30. Similar to the previous example, we can use the data type double to store double precision floating point numbers. In C sharp, this data type is denoted by the keyword double. We will discuss the range and the size of the data type at the end of this video. As you can see in this statement, usage of the double keyword in C sharp 
is similar to the previous example. Boolean is an another data type that we have in C sharp and it is used to represent Boolean values of true and false. Example of the usage type is given in this statement. Here, the variable status is a type of Boolean and false is assigned as its value. Character data type is another popular data type in programming languages which can be used to work with characters. In C sharp, this data type is denoted by the keyword char. As you can see in this statement, variables of char type can be assigned a character value. Here, we have defined a character value called my char and assigned simple a as its value. Another important data type available in C sharp is the type e string. If you want to work with a set of characters or a sentence, then you can use e strings for your task. As shown in this example, you can create a variable of type e string and assign a e string value to the variable. E string values are denoted by the double quotation marks as you can see here. C sharp provides many tools to manipulate e strings. We will discuss them in detail in a later video. We can divide C sharp basic data types into few categories. Boolean type, integral types, floating point types, character type, string type and decimal type. As you can see here, there are more than one data types available for some categories. Of course, there are many data types available other than basic data types in C-sharp. As you can see in this slide, we have enum types, struct types, nullable types, as well as reference data types such as class types, array types, etc. Throughout this course, we will be discussing many of these data types. This table shows a summary of what each data type represents and its range. Range of the boolean is true and false. Range of the byte is 0 to 255 and it represents an 8-bit unsigned integer. If you need to represent 8-bit signed integers, then you can use the type sbyte. Since we need to allocate 1 bit to represent the sign of the number, our range is minus 128 to plus 127. If you are interested to find out how this range is achieved, you can do further readings on Two's complement in binary numbers. We already discussed about the char data type. Memory space allocated to char data type is 16 bits. Decimal is a data type used to represent 128 bit decimal values. And this provides higher precision over double O float data types. We have very high range for the double data type as it is represented by 64 bits. Float is another data type that we can use to represent floating point or rational numbers. The range is lower than the type double. But the computation is fast as we use only 32 bits to represent the value. Int, long and short are data types that can be used to represent signed integer values. And the range of each data type is type varies according to the number of bits used to represent the values. Uint, Ulong and Ushort are the corresponding unsigned integer types. In this video, we discussed about the basic data types available in C Also, we discussed about what each data type represents and the range of each data type. So, you can use them efficiently in your program.